Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will talk about block diagram reduction rules and uh, I will explain it by the example also. So here the first rule is combining blocks in cascade or in series. If the blocks are in series, uh, let us consider that this G1 and G2, these two blocks are here in series, then the resultant block will be the multiplication of this to transfer function here g1 is the transfer function of first block and g2 is the transfer function of second block therefore it can be reduced into a single block having multiplication of these two transfer function that is g1 into g2 then uh, let us uh, explain it with example if these three blocks are there g1 g2 and g3 if these are connected in cascade or if these are connected in series then the resultant will be the multiplication of all these three then combining blocks in parallel now let us consider that two blocks g uh, g1 and g2 these are the transfer function of these two blocks if they are connected in parallel then the resultant will be g1 plus g2 here it is the sum of transfer function of these two blocks but uh, remember here that uh, G1 is having positive sign and G2 is having negative sign the same will be here also but if this is negative then uh, definitely the respective sign will be kept as it is for example consider this example here these three blocks are connected in parallel here G1 G2 and G3 are their respective transfer function the sign of G1 is positive, G2 is having sign negative and let us consider that G3 is also positive. Then the resultant will be G1 minus G2 plus G3. So this is the resultant output G1 minus G2 plus G3. This is about the blocks in parallel. Here also note that uh, the in, uh, if the blocks are connected in parallel, then the summing point will be after the block or we can say that it is from if it is your input and it is your output path then then it is from input to output and the summing point will be after the block that is in the forward path now uh, eliminating a feedback loop here g is the transfer function of forward path and h is the feedback path transfer function then uh, and if this uh, h is having positive negative sign that is plus minus is here then uh, after elimination it can be converted into a single block that is g divided by 1 minus plus gh here the sign of this feedback is inverted means for positive feedback your output will be negative here and for negative feedback the sign will be positive here for example uh, if this h is 1 also that is a, a unity feedback loop then the resultant will be g divided by 1 minus plus g here h is equals to 1 so it is just uh, multiplied by 1 this is third rule now fourth rule is swapping of two neighboring summing point if this is summing point a and this is summing point B and uh, the, if uh, they are connected directly to each other then we can interchange these two summing points means the position of summing point A and B can be changed here the sign will also remain as it is if the B is having sign positive then this B will be positive if this is negative then it will remain negative as shown here then next rule is in splitting of summing point if this is your summing point and it is having some inputs as r of s g1 of s and g2 of s then this is your input path it will remain as it is and output path will also as it remain as it is but this summing point is splitted into two different summing point points here as you can see here if g1 is having positive sign it will remain as it is and if G2 is having negative sign, the sign will remain as it is. That is, the summing point is splitted and without uh, changing any sign. That is uh, our rule number 5. Next rule is moving summing point behind the block. Now, this is a block and this is your summing point. If you want to move this summing point behind the block, that is after a block, then here 
the transfer function of this line will be multiplied by this function g so here is the resultant block for example if the transfer function of this block is g1 and here uh, the transfer function of this path is h1 and if you move this summing point after the block then this h1 will be multiplied by the transfer function of this block that is h1 into g1 the sign of this summing point will remain as it is now this is the first rule uh, of moving a summing point behind the block we can also move a summing point if it is after the block we can move it before the block that is ahead of a block in this case the summing point is moved and here the transfer function will get divided by this transfer function that is the blocks transfer function it will be equals to 1 upon g so this is your seventh rule eighth rule is moving a pick up point or take up point after a block pick up point is also known as take off point and you can move this take off point here after the block and if you move after the block then this function will get divided by the transfer function of this block that is it is 1 by g here then ninth rule is moving a pick up point or take off point ahead of a block if you move this take off point ahead of the block here that is before the block then this transfer function will get multiplied with g these are the rules of reduction for the block diagram now this is the block diagram reduction technique the problems will be seen in our next video and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like, comment and share. Thank you.